Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Eben with a WBZ News update. Our top stories this Thursday. T officials are explaining what caused this morning's power outage that then led to significant delays for riders and also left them in the dark. The power problems created issues on the green, orange, and blue lines for hours. Well, the T's general manager says the T was able to identify what caused the outage. As a result of the investigation with the crews at the substation, we did identify that the cause of this morning's incident was one of seven uh, main feeder cables to that substation. That one main feed, uh, however, because of that one feeder cable that failed, um, it affected the other six feeder cables. Uh, and as a safe fail operation to ensure that there's nothing more significant happening, all of the circuit breakers tripped um, to ensure safety. Eng added that as a goodwill gesture to show appreciation for riders, there will be no fares on all subway lines today from 3 p.m. until 7 o'clock tonight. A tree trimmer is in the hospital after a tree fell on that person in Plastown, New Hampshire. Fire officials say the person was working on Abbey Road when the tree fell, and the worker suffered a serious hip injury, but was conscious and alert when rescue teams arrived. Massport is asking travelers to plan ahead for February vacation. The agency is urging anyone heading to Logan Airport to arrive early, take public transportation if possible. Parking lots at the airport and at Logan Express sites are expected to be near capacity. Massport also suggests checking in with the airline for the most updated flight information. Well, the sun is out, but it is freezing out there and some snowflakes tonight. Let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff. We do have a ton of sunshine around today, but I like to call this ineffective sunshine because it's still mighty chilly outside. And a look at what's next is a period of light snow arriving tonight between about 8 o'clock this evening and let's say 2 a.m. or so. We will have a period of some light snow that moves through. I am watching for some snow covered roads. Shouldn't be that big of an impact. Most of us will be indoors, but if your travels take you out, if you're a third shifter and you have to drive on the roads into the overnight, you may encounter some slick spots. So that's why it is our next big thing. In fact, we're dry right now from mountaintop to seashore. Nothing to worry about. It's out to the west that will first build the clouds and eventually some of the snowflakes. I'm pausing this at 930. You see some of those snowflakes in place as you go north and west of Boston through the elevations of Worcester County into Middlesex County. These are the areas that we would expect to see some of the higher totals. But even as you go to the southern tier of 495 out towards the Cape and Islands, we're all going to pick up at least a little bit of snow with this system before it finally winds down and clears on out of here. Friday, we're going to be left with sunnier skies, but also blustier conditions. It will be very windy heading into Friday. So all told, a coating to an inch as you go south and east of town. The higher totals are going to be north and west of town, metro west, out to 495, route to southern New Hampshire, Middlesex County, Essex County, the Merrimack Valley. Those are the areas that would pick up one to three inches. And again, this is arriving into the overnight. So the salt and sanders, Perhaps the plows will do their job. And by the time we wake up tomorrow, I don't expect any sort of widespread issues by any means. And certainly as you get closer to the coastline, uh, south and east of Boston, I don't expect issues at all. Now we do also have in the wake of this storm, we have some wind advisories that have been posted certainly out to Western Mass, but also into central and northern Worcester County out towards Middlesex County and the Cape and Islands. It's going to get very blustery heading into tomorrow where we could see winds gusting 30 to 45, even up to 50 miles per hour in some spots. It's one of those lunches that you're going to want to hold under your hat. It will be windy for sure. But right now we're just enjoying the sunshine, although it's not warm sunshine. Sunshine nonetheless. Temperatures are in the mid to low 30s and upper 20s. When you factor in the wind, it feels more like the 20s in a lot of spots. On our way to the upper 30s, the clouds start to build. The snowflakes arrive heading into tonight. Tomorrow we'll clear those snowflakes out. We're left with windier conditions. Once again, feels like temperatures will be in the 20 air temperatures in the middle 30s. What we're watching for beyond this is heading into Saturday. This little system is likely going to bring some snowflakes Saturday morning south and east of Boston. Again, doesn't look like a big event, but some snow for some areas nonetheless. Here's our seven day forecast, a chilly Sunday. 
turning a bit milder as we go into next week to near 50 degrees by midweek. Back to you. All right, thanks, Jacob. I'm Paula Eben. This has been a WBZ News Update.